In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a local WordPress environment using MAMP and also configure MAMP so that you don't have to type in the default 8888 port number in order to access the website. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a test website with the URL demo8888.local. You guys can set it up to whatever you want and then have it stored in the website folder under the same URL, demo8888.local. And I'm gonna go ahead and create that folder, use that folder to store the website files. Let's go ahead and create and save our host settings, reboot the server. And I believe where most people take the misstep is that they will go ahead and click on extra and then install WordPress right away. Instead, what you want to do is you want to click on ports and make sure that the settings is not the default setting. Instead, the settings 80, 81, 3306, and um, I believe this, this stays the same. But if I set it to the default man ports, this is what the default is. I believe the reason why you guys are watching this video is because you basically have it under the default settings and did not click on set to port 80, 81, 443, and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and actually save it under the default so that we're on the same page and then we can go try to reverse the process and fix it so that it is back to port 80, 81, 443, and so forth. I'm gonna go ahead and click on set map default, use the default, let's go back to host. I'm gonna see if I need to save anything. Let's go ahead and click on save so that the ports are also saved as well. Have it start the server. When the ports are saved as 8888, what that does when you install WordPress is that within the WordPress database under WP option, and then within WP options under the columns WP home and WP site, it's storing your URL with the 888 port number. And that's the reason why when you go to the site, it's also redirecting to the 8888, or you have to type in 888 to get to the website. With that being said, let's go ahead and install WordPress. As we continue on with this video, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just go ahead and use uh, something on original like test at test.com. I'm pretty sure that guy gets a lot of emails. Now that WordPress is installed on our demo 8888.loco, if I go to the web browser and type in demo 8888.local, it's not going to find it, right? Because I actually have to put in the port number as well. And that's not what we want. We want to just go to our URL and then come to this website. Now that we're on the same page, let's go ahead and fix it so that we don't have to type in the port number every single time because that can be annoying. What I'll need to do is We'll go to database and it looks like this is being the, the site's being installed on WordPress underscore five. That's the database. So go to MySQL, we'll go to PHP my admin. Under the WordPress database, and then under the WordPress underscore five, let's go to WP options, browse, and here we can see that our uh, site URL and home URL is our URL with the port number. So let's go ahead and remove the port number here. And now that our database is set up uh, correctly, let's go back to MAMP. Now turn off the Apache server. So we'll stop the Apache server and we'll go to ports. And this time we'll set the ports correctly. So that's 80. And then as you can see, once I change the ports, there is no way for me to save it. The save button down here on the lower right isn't active. I'm not sure if that's a bug with MAMP or anything like that, but we can't really save our port settings. So what I do is I just quit out and then it'll prompt me to save. So I'm gonna go ahead and do save and quit. And then I'll reopen MAMP.
And then from here, I'll start the servers. And once the servers are activated, we see it, it works now. In addition, I'll take the extra step and also log in into the back end. Oops. And I'll log in. And under settings, I will just go all the way to the bottom and then go ahead and click on save just to make sure our settings in the back end is changed and any URL settings anywhere else will automatically be saved as well as go to permalinks, click on plain and resave here under permalinks as well. Now, if I just go to my URL, I don't actually have to type in the port number and everything just works as is. So there you go.